Hey, what's up, guys? Bill Geither here. Wanted to bring you a, a little update from our trip up to Green Mountain uh, yesterday, which was uh, October 5th. Please excuse my voice. Um, it was just a, a long day yesterday. 16 hours. We left here about 7 in the morning. Got back about 11.30 last night. Took up tons of supplies. Hundreds and hundreds of gallons of gasoline. Uh, hundreds of pounds of, of, of propane. Um, solar lights. Solar flashlights. Uh, all the stuff you guys have been buying off of. The Amazon wish list we took up. I got tons more here I'm going to be taking back up. It was a little bit of a rough trip yesterday. Um, <clears throat> we had a wheel bearing issue on the trailer we were pulling. Stopped in Shelby, North Carolina. Um, just found a little place right by where the wheel messed up uh, called Jimmy Auto Repair. That guy was awesome. Uh, he fixed us up. Tried to pay him. He wouldn't take a penny. He said, go take care of the people. By the time we got to Irwin, Tennessee, uh, we had to replace that wheel bearing. The people at O'Reilly Auto Parts in Irwin, Tennessee were awesome. Uh, helped us tremendously. Got that fixed. Started down the mountain from Tennessee to Green Mountain. It was shut off because a uh, dump truck full of gravel uh, flipped over on the only road in and out. No figure. Driver's okay, thank God. Uh, it was not a, like, ground to fall out from under or anything like that. Uh, his truck slipped out of gear, and, and when he jammed it back into gear in the turn, it skipped and flipped the truck over. So that delayed us a couple hours. And then we got in there and delivered everything. We took generators. We took solar stuff. I mean, I've already kind of told you some of it. And we took some cash because we had leftover money from all the supplies that we bought and you guys bought. Uh, so we took that in the form of cash to them uh, because they're not working. Their, their companies up there don't have power or the businesses up there don't have power. And, and so they're not working. They're not going to be working. They're, they're going to be three to four to five months. I, I'll honestly be shocked if they get power going in five months. I mean, telephone poles up there snapped in half like a twig they're on the ground. Transformers on the ground. Um, I, I really, and I'm no power person or anything, but just from looking at the devastation, I think it's going to be easier for them just to come in there and put up new poles and new lines and to try and salvage anything that's down there. Uh, I think it'd be faster, easier, and cheaper just to replace everything from new. Um, I will tell you, you know, everybody's asking about FEMA and FEMA and, you know, National Guard. Uh, there's none of that. None. We didn't see any of that. I've been up there twice now. I've yet to see any military personnel, any government people. It's all the locals. There's, yeah, I mean, the police are there. But there's no government assistance going on up there. None. The helo support that we have coming in that you guys helped make happen is, is 99% civilian. One of our, our people there at Ground Zero in Green Mountain said that they had one, some type of military chopper or something come in and land. And she said they literally landed, pushed everything out of the chopper, just let it fall on the ground, bottled waters went everywhere, and then they took off. They didn't get out. They didn't talk to them. They didn't ask them what they needed. Right? They just dropped and ran. It made me sick. It made me sick. These people are in trouble. And I know that the news and the uh, you know, attention of this is, is going to get sidestepped real soon. Right? He did it, he's going to have something come out and, and you're not going to hear anything else about what's going on up in western North Carolina or Tennessee. But those people are still there. And I'm, I'm begging you guys not to let this cool off. Not to stop helping. Not to stop buying the supplies that we need on the wish list that I made. And that wish list has been updated, by the way, with things that they told me directly that they needed 
It's getting ready to be winter out there in the North Carolina mountains. It's going to be cold. I have no heat. I mean, there's firewood, but not everybody's got a fireplace. There's plenty of firewood, though, because trees are down everywhere. I cut trees all day after the afternoon while I never got there. But I need you guys to stay vigilant to this. I need you guys to, to keep donating goods and funds and help us get these people through this. Because I'm going to tell you honestly, if we the people don't do it and take care of our own brothers and sisters and we forget about them, which is why I'm doing this in the first place, because I know this area that I'm working in and I was right so far, unfortunately, they're just going to get looked over. And if we forget about these people, they're, they're not going to make it. Okay? They got no money coming in. They got limited food unless we bring it. They got no gas unless we bring it. Helicopters can't bring in gasoline and propane and diesel fuel and stuff like that. Hazardous materials. It's going to take somebody like me and, and the, and the, army of people, the village of people that have stepped up like you to take care of these people. And we just gotta keep them going until they get power back out there. Until everybody out there gets power. But I'm telling you guys, that's not happening anytime soon. So our great president blatantly said, I hope the American people keep funding this relief effort. Well, I do too. I don't agree with him, but nobody else is going to. So, I'm spending all I got, all I can, to help these people. You guys have been a, a relief not only to them, but to me, because I was breaking the bank, trying to make sure that they had what they needed. And by you guys sending in financial donations, we were able to spend that, some of that money on these supplies, instead of my personal money. I am spending all my personal money on my own gas to take it up there and back and my own food and my own lodging if I need it. I mean, luckily I have a camper up there that I can stay in. I got a generator on it yesterday, my generator. So, but all, all the, all those expenses are out of pocket for me and I'm happy to do it. But I just need you guys to, to know that this is, this is going to be ongoing and I need you to, to keep that in your, in your mind. You know, help me spread the word. This is going to be some time that we need this help. So I thank you all for everything. The people up there are okay. They still need help. There's a lot of cleanup to be done. A lot of things they're going to need and still need. And as we go into the winter, it's going to get harder and harder for them. The North Carolina winters in the mountains are not easy anyway. Much less without any power. So, I thank all you guys for everything that you're doing. I'm going to ask that you please keep doing it. If you could meet these people, you would be just like me. You would, you would be willing to give everything you got to help them. So, I, thank you. <laughs>